Alright, welcome back. Now we're looking at future value annuity, right? So in short, annuity can be considered as an investment or loan that requires regular payments governed by a specific interest rates. Payments may be made monthly, quarterly, yearly, etc. As long as you're paying more than once, we are dealing with a annuity, right? Don't confuse it with higher purchase. Right, future value annuities is capital accumulated in the savings or investment account. Compound interest paid on the money placed into the account. Now the formula that governs future value annuity, and this is the same formula we use in real life, F equal to X, 1 plus I to the power N minus 1 divided by I. F represents the future value that we will get. X is installment or regular payments made. I represent interest rate and N the period of investment. Right, so I've managed to find question February 28 that deals specifically what basically introducing you to future value annuity. Right, so question 7, 7.1. All right, on 30 June 2013, at the end of each month they have after, as if deposited 2005 into a bank account, or 2500, right? into a bank account that pays interest at 6% per annum, compounded monthly. He wants to continue to deposit this amount until 31 May 2018. So he's paying from 30 June 2013, so take note he's paying for the whole month of June up to the end of May. All right? Calculate how much money ASIF will have in account immediately after depositing 2005 on 31 May 2008. So we're working from June to May 2018. All right. So how much is he depositing? 2005. So X there represents 2005. The interest rate 6% per annum compounded monthly. So 6 divided by 100 gives me 0 0.06 divided by 12. Time period there. As you can see from June 2013 to 31 May 2018 would be exactly 5 years, 5 times 12 would give me 16. Alright, how do I get to 5 years? It's paid from June, so if we count June up to May, you will see it constitutes 12 months exactly. Alright, so from 2013 to 2018 is 5 years. Alright, so substitute in. Using a calculator, always first try to solve this part to the 60 minus 1 in the bracket and times two and a half, and then divide. Or you can punch in everything if you have a Casio in fraction format, but your answer must be 174,425 rand, eight cents, after investing for five years, all right? So, how do you mark? Always we give a mark for the time period and the interest rate. Both must be correct for the mark to be allocated. Another mark for correct substitution into the correct formula. So meaning you use future value instead of present value, right? And then one mark for the answer. So that constitutes your three marks. So I assume you, you pick up, so with 2005 on a regular basis, we work out the compound interest for the time period, minus the one times two and a half. All, right. All the best, continue practicing. Bye.